<laughs> Hamlet. Act four, scene four, day, a seaport. Hamlet, military captain, Rosencrantz. Exiled from his kingdom of Denmark, Hamlet is about to board a ship to England. Good sir, I pray you, whose powers are these? <clears throat> they are of no way, sir. How purpose, sir, I pray you. Against some part of Poland, who commands them, sir? The nephew to old Norway, Fortinbras. Uh, goes it against the main of Poland, sir, or something? Yeah. Yeah. Truly to speak, and with no addition, you're going to gain a little patch of ground that has in it no profit to me. To pay five ducats, five, I would not afford it. Nor will it yield to Norway or the pole, the rank or state should it be sold in fee. Well, then the Polak will never defend it. Yes, it is already garrisoned. Two thousand souls and twenty thousand ducats will not debate the question of this straw. This is the imposture of wealth and peace that inward breaks and shows no cause without why the man dies. I humbly thank you, sir. God by you, sir. Keep it going for you. Please, you go, my lord. I'll be with you straight. Go a little before. <coughs> How all occasions do inform against me and spur my dull revenge. What is a man if the chief good and market of his time be but to sleep and feed a beast no more? Sure, he that made us with such large discourse, looking before and after, with that godlike reason, gave us not that capability and godlike reason to fuss in us unused. Now, whether it be bestial oblivion or some craven scruple of thinking too precisely on the event of thought which courted hath ever one part wisdom and three parts coward, I know not why yet I live to say this thing's to do, sith I have cause and will and strength and means to do it. Examples gross as earth exhort me. Witness this army of such mass and charge led by a delicate and tender prince whose spirit with divine ambition puffed makes mouths at the invisible event exposing what is mortal and unsure to all that fortune, death, and danger dare even for an eggshell. Rightly to be great is not to stir without great argument, but greatly to find quarrel in a straw when honor's at stake. I'll stand either. <laughs> that have a father killed, a mother stained, excitements of my reason and my blood, and let all sleep. But to my shame, I see the imminent death of 20,000 men that for a fantasy and trick of fame go to their graves like beds, fight for a plot where the numbers cannot try the cause, which is not tomb enough and continent to hide the slain. Oh! From this time forth, my thoughts be bloody or be nothing worth. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Next scene. Oh, no, this ain't next scene.